Hello YouTube. <laughs> That's the Goldsmobile here again. Uh, we just made a short video about the eight year ownership of this car, but I wanted to talk about something else. So I made the video of owning a car, a classic car, an antique car at 25. And I got actually a lot of positive feedback on that video and a lot of people really seem to enjoy that video uh, and a lot of things that I talked about with this car. And it kind of one I kind of wanted to make another video as like a follow up as several years later. I'm I'm now 31, so I've aged a few years. I've grown a bit and I've experienced this car for a lot longer. Um, and it's something that I feel needs to be said. So something I've come across over the years is uh, I love to go to car shows and car cruises um, and experience all the older cars that are there. And this car goes there with me typically. Um, and it gets shown off and it gets a lot of positive feedback when it's there. A lot of people remember these cars growing up as kids and say how I own one of those and you know, it was a great car and all that. Um, but it doesn't get necessarily all of the appeal that the older cars do, you know, they don't get the, oh wow, look at this 1969 Pontiac GTO. Yeah, it's, it's not that. Uh, look at this Corvette. Everybody knows a Corvette when they see them. But uh, that kind of leads me to the topic of why this car is so great and why I feel this is the perfect antique classic car driving to shows car. Um, and there's another car, another vehicle that I'd like to talk about that I'll hopefully get the opportunity to make a video on, which I also feel is another one of those very perfect vehicles. Um, and they're the perfect vehicle for someone that's not looking to have the responsibility and the work that goes into owning a car that's 60, 50, 60 years old, that is a lot more, uh, sought after and has a lot more value behind it. And you may say, well, I want a car that has a lot more value and such. And I really like those cars. They're great. But here's my problem with them and why I would totally love to own one, but I feel I wouldn't enjoy it near as much as this car. Now this car did turn 40 this year, or is going to be turning 40 this year. Uh, so it is an older car now, but it is at that sweet spot in age, in my opinion, uh, that it makes this car to a point where you can still get parts, mechanical parts. <laughs> uh, they're easy to work on for the most part, other than some electrical stuff and gizmos and computers and stuff on the carburetor and thinky boxes and such, you know. <laughs> and uh, all the miles of vacuum lines. Uh, but they're easy to work on for the most part. Brakes are easy to do. Tires are an easy size to find. You can still get 15 inch tires. You can still get the white walls like this uh, for fairly inexpensive. Uh, they're very comfortable. They're very luxurious. This is the land yacht. This thing floats down the road. And this is end of an era too. If you think about it, those cars are cool and all, but this is the end of an era. They don't make cars like this anymore and this was the last generation of those cars. This car ended in 1984, was the last model year for this big barge of a car. Uh, now they made some other bigger cars from GM and even Ford and Chrysler, they may have made some bigger cars, but this particular Oldsmobile 98 ended in 1984. In 1985, they went front wheel drive. Now they got the 3800, 3800 V6, which is a great engine. Uh, you can get probably more reliability. They're fuel injected, <laughs> easier. Uh, but it doesn't have the charm that this car has. It's not the 18 and a half feet long. This thing is huge. Uh, that being said, I think it's the perfect car because of all of those reasons. It's not ridiculously valuable. It's not expensive to maintain. It's a classic. You get compliments. People always stopping and talking to me about this car. Everywhere I go, there's somebody. People are always looking at this car. They're always complimenting this car. Always talking about this car. It's a great social in experiment, for say, to get to meet people. Um, that being said also, this uh, is fairly reliable. It has many of the feature, feature comforts that you may want. It's got high and low beam headlights that you can actually see out of. It's got the corner marker lights for making turns. You can see around the corner. Uh, it's got front disc brakes, rear drum. 
So it's decent stopping power. It's not no drum brakes. It's power steering, power brakes, power door locks, power windows, working air conditioning, tilt steering wheel, AM, FM radio, and it has a cassette deck that you can pop one of them digital little cassettes in and hook your phone up if you want to play music. It has many modern conveniences. So it is a modern car for the most part. Uh, there's not much into driving it. Carburetor's a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, knowing how to start a carbureted car, you know, you gotta pump the gas, you gotta let them warm up. You can't just get them in, drop them and drive and go. You gotta let it warm up. Um, you have to, in this car, uh, I made a video about this car, you have to wait for the computer to actually kick in and start control before the car will really run properly. Uh, and that's why I feel like this car is perfect. It's easy for anybody. They're not worth a whole lot. Um, like I said, it's probably about $5,000 this car is worth currently, uh, which is, I mean, that's being a good day. It's probably worth a little less than that, but uh, it's a lot more than what I paid for it. I can tell you that much. Uh, that being said, it has built some value and the amount of smiles and the miles that I've put on this car and the enjoyment that I've gotten out of the car. And it's a good looking car and it's clean. It is clean, but it's not perfect. It has a little bit of rust in the bottom of the doors. It has rust in these pillars back here that I got to fix to put the new vinyl top on. You know, it's got scratches. It's got dents. There's a dent here in the door somewhere. The paint's peeling off here. There's a dent in the trim here. The steering wheel's got cracks on it. The armrest has a crack here. It's worn. But the nice part about it is, is recently, and I was upset, I won't lie, I was upset. I don't know when it happened or where it happened, but somebody did hit this back bumper here. Now, bear with me, you don't see nothing, I'm sure. It is a little scratch right there, but there was scuffs here, and you can see there's a little bit of a scratch here, and I think it's a little bowed in right here. But somebody did hit it, and then there was a scuff on the quarter here. Uh, it had to be in a parking lot somewhere. Now, most of it buffed off of the chromes. You can't even tell. If I didn't, if I wouldn't have told you, like, would you, would you? I don't, I don't think you would have. Um, but it's not the end of the world. This wasn't a $30,000 paint job. This wasn't a $100,000 restoration. I'll take this car and I'll drive it. If it starts to rain when I'm out, it's not the end of the world. You know, if somebody does ding it, it sucks but it's fixable and it's not the end of the world. And you're not gonna be out a lot of money. You're not gonna be afraid to drive it. And I drive this car. I will drive this car. I drove this car and I have no problems with doing that. In its current state, I would get in this car and drive it anywhere. Um, not even thinking twice about it. So that's why I tell you, if you're looking to get into a classic car and you wanna get to car shows and you wanna enjoy it's different going to a car show in a car that is in the show that is something that people want to look at in one way or another than going to a show just to look at the cars in your econa box you know your basic new car they're cool they're nice i have one <laughs> but you will never have a better experience than going in a car like this and that's where i leave you with is uh get out there get a car get a classic car get an antique car learn to wrench get some books learn to turn those wrenches and get out and enjoy the world and it's like vice grip garage says a lot get out on those back roads get out and see america see the countryside and there's no better place to do it than in a car like this You can actually get parts for this car if it breaks down somewhere. <laughs> you get that rare showroom car, you know, you're not going to find parts. This car, you're going to find some parts for it. I guarantee it. Uh, there are so many cars that this car cross platforms with, um, particularly Cadillacs, and Cadillacs are very prominent. You're going to find parts for this car. So, like I said, in my eight-year video, I don't regret this car. I'm glad I own it. I think you should go and get one and enjoy it and drive it. These cars are meant to be driven and enjoyed. And now there are a few cases where I guess that does, you know, we're getting sidetracked here, but you know, there are cars out there that have, you know, under 10,000 original miles. And while I would love to own one, if I had the space in the garage, I would put it up on a lift in a garage, keep it 
clean and never want to drive it. And it would be cool to look at. Great conversation piece. But you're not enjoying the car for what it was meant to do. And that is drive. Now it may not be daily transportation anymore. But it is a great day off or weekend cruiser. But anyways. I uh, might have gotten a little passionate in this video, but I, 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 I am passionate about the car hobby and the car scene. Um, and like I said, I'd like to make a video on another car, another vehicle <laughs> that I feel is a great opportunity. And it's something that somebody should invest in currently because the value on them are going up and they're going up quick. And a lot of YouTubers will tell you that and a lot of car guys will tell you that. And I think it's a great opportunity to get into the world of a classic car and classic vehicle and enjoy what the what the past gave us this is part of what the the malaise area i believe they call it but i think it's beautiful and i think it's wonderful and it's amazing and you'll never have it again so get out there get one and enjoy it because you may never get the opportunity again <laughs> i got serious but anyways, thank you for watching. Please link, uh, comment, like, subscribe, and have a good day.